this morning I had a lot of different things I was going through but I ended up landing on Hebrews 11 now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen for by the el by it the elders obtained a good report through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. We are not dependent about what we can see with our eyes. We are dependent about what this Word of God says. This is what we live by. You've tuned in to Matt and Randy in the morning. We are here to encourage you in the Word so that you can be strong in the faith and live victoriously in Christ. It is in this Word of God that we find a light for our path, a lamp unto our feet. This word guides us. In times when things just seem like they don't make any sense, we know that we can have confidence on the word of God. It's been proven truth for several thousands of years. It hasn't always been in the format that we have it like, like this. But the Jewish Torah, the stories of the Old Testament, you know, the apostles, the writings, it's, it's there for us. We are so privileged to have the Word of God. That is the greatest treasure that we have here in our nation, is the fact that we liberally can open this Word of God. We can hide it in our hearts so we might not sin against God. We can know what He says about us and rejoice in that and stand strong in that. Hebrews 12 says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed with such a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, you know, last week we were talking about staying the course and just stay on track. Stay with the Lord. Even if you stumble and fall, keep running toward God. You may go forward three feet and fall and trip and go backwards three, two feet. You're still one foot ahead. You're still going toward the Lord. Don't allow people's sayings or things in the natural to keep you from staying focused on the Lord. You know, Peter, when he started to, to sink, I talk about that so often, because I can just imagine him starting to sink and the Lord saying, I got you, and picking him up. It's the same in our lives. We will mess up at times, and we'll have those moments of doubt. That doesn't take God by surprise. He knows that we're in this flesh. We know He knows that we're in a world full of garbage. But we stay the course. We don't look at our surroundings. We don't look at things that are happening in the natural. We look up to God. We look up to the stars in their places, the trees that grow. You see, when you plant a seed, the farmer doesn't see what that seed is doing underground, but we know that that seed is doing something. He plants that seed by faith, knowing that that seed is gonna do what it's supposed to do underground. It may be in the darkness, but it's going to find its way out to the light. Some take longer than others, and it's the same thing in our life. Some things will take longer to produce the fruit that we want than others. But we continue to plant God's Word in our heart, knowing that it will bear fruit, because this is good seed. God's Word is good seed in your heart. It goes on, it says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. In other words, when you start thinking, Oh, poor is me, I'm going through all this stuff. Remember the things that Jesus went through for you because he loves you. He knows that what he's got planned for you is awesome. 
these things, good things and bad things, he'll work them together for your good because he loves you. All things work together for the good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. God will work things out for you. Goes, let me see. I'm gonna, I am out of time, so let me go down here. Romans 10 says, But what is this? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and shall believe in thine heart, you see, this is where you have to believe it. It doesn't matter where sometimes this mind may go off track. No. In your heart, you got to know that you know that you know that God loves you. God is greater than any situation that may come your way. It says, first of all, shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead. It's not a dead Jesus that's still on a cross. He's not on a crucifix. He's not on that cross anymore. He has risen from the dead to prove to you he has all authority. That one day you will be able to rise again. No matter what people do to you, you will rise again because of God Almighty, because of what Jesus did on Calvary. It says, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Why are we doing this? It's because we're excited about what Jesus did for us. When you have that relationship with Jesus Christ, something inside of you makes it so that it just comes out. You know, you shouldn't hide a light under a bushel where it doesn't do any good. You put it where it can be a light. If you've accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in your life and you are following his ways, all around you there's people that are in the pit, in darkness. You have the light to light their path. You can lead them to Jesus so that he may be a light unto their path, a lamp unto their feet, so that they don't longer have to be in darkness. So let your light shine. Live by faith, not by your own strength. It is a gift of God. Salvation is a gift of God. It's not of works, lest any man should boast. So the gift that you have has already been purchased. And you can give it to others. And it's one of those things, the more you give it out, the more you get in. The more you pour out, the more the Lord can pour into you. You don't want stagnant water. You want living water. So share that living water that you have. As a woman on the well did, as a man, man that was delivered from the legion of demons that he had. And Jesus said, go, go tell them. Don't come. I don't want you to follow me. I want you to go tell the people what I have done for you. Tell others what Jesus has done for you. Remind yourself what Jesus has done for you. So keep a praise song in your heart. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice.